Designation, Hal's Hope. Uh, did you say Hal's Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal. Now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakub? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, hey Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who can search with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you two. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for trespassing. Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? I am Groot. Uh, airlock. I really shouldn't have hung up on her. What about the crate? Leave it. I'll handle this. Grell and I have history together. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, I will get us out of this. Trust me. to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it, we're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the Captain. No! No, 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 she, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. 
They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. You don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier grand Raker. Unifier? Leader Scanner. of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is... I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did just to be no. super clear you on the mom thing. my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a blast door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go! Go! <sighs> okay. <sighs> We need to keep moving. This way. You dead, Nikki? Whoa. Just stay close. I knew there was something wrong about that church ship. Who goes fishing for God in a junkie? Oh, man. This is bad. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on! You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate footgear. Come on! If I can fly up No! To... You're my prisoner! And I got this! Obviously. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior office- Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh. Dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Are you kidding me? Relax. You're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. 
Work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Did you hear me? Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a court. Easy, does it? to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh... died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was... A, is... a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. Pretty sure all kids get annoyed with their moms, but as you get older, you realize they're right more often than not. Ugh, whatever. Okay, almost there. Almost where? You'll see. This way. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just... Really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. I can't leave him like this. Just make yourself at home, I guess. Hey, secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. More crawling, yay. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, 
subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and... <clears throat> recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For the record, I didn't mean overreact, like, in a bad way. I mean, like, celebrating. What a moral person of conviction you are. That is not what you said! I don't care what he said. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sublevel I just found you in. So, how does a 12-year-old get into these places? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? And she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless... You have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles.
So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've, I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, okay. That is a lot of money. The, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship and a Class II biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. Promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? A freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. You're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. 
Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. Oh. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh, can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Oh. Anything else? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humi butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control. Mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather, I'd turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, never the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. Buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. Mind if we put a pin in this? A pin? I'm... I should, uh, get back. Sure.